Hi, I'm Kamini Patel. Welcome to Britannia Dessert Carnival. Today I'm going to share a choco cardamom espresso cake, which is an eggless version. Come and see. I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going to start by whisking my butter and sugar. So first I need about 3 4 cups of soft butter and then I'm going to add 3 4 cups of caster sugar and I'm going to whisk it for at least 5 minutes. Whisking it for longer, cream means you're creaming it and you're getting that crackly surface on top. Now it's time for my yogurt, 3 4 cups of yogurt. This is what helps make the eggless cake stay soft and moist. And about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And a tablespoon of ground cardamom. Now I'll add my chocolate. This is 350 gram of melted dark chocolate. 2 teaspoon of cocoa powder and the espresso. You want the espresso to be at room temperature. We'll give it a whisk. And now I can just combine the dry ingredients. 1 teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, and half a teaspoon of salt and then one and a half cups of plain flour. And you just fold it in with a rubber spatula. So now I can pour it into my prepared cake tin, which is about eight inch round. It's greased and flawed, so it's prepared. Just give the cake a few hits on the floor. So this has just removed the air bubbles on top and now I'm going to bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes until the skewer comes out clean. So while my cake cools in its tin, I'm going to prepare the frosting. I need about 1 fourth cup of very hot espresso. To this, I'm going to add two to three tablespoons of butter. And to this, I'm going to add a few tablespoons of cocoa powder, unsweetened. So what this does essentially is that the hot espresso melts the butter and the cocoa powder together to combine it beautifully well. And it so ensures that there are no clumps of cocoa powder. I'm going to slowly add my icing sugar bit by bit until you get the consistency that you like. So you can have it drizzling, you can get, have it thicker. If you want it thicker, you just add more icing sugar. So now that my glaze is ready, I'm going to start to demold the cake. So all I have to do is drizzle this glaze on top. So there, your choco cardamom espresso cake is ready. I hope you like this recipe. Don't forget to share, like and comment and subscribe to this channel to see more of Britannia Dessert Carnival recipes.